So in the previous video, we had that double count going on. I resolved that with a let clause. But now I, I'm kind of bugged here that we have like a query up here, which is the result for this query down here. There's a couple ways to resolve it. One is, gee, I can just cut this right here and paste it right here. Okay, that, hopefully that doesn't blow your mind away. I mean, really, I'm just saying from... G in I need some list or sequence out here in order for the extension methods in system.link to resolve and so and so this returns a, a list a enumerable thing so so yeah that that works just fine um, that's one way of doing it but notice I'm kind of mixing the lambda expression syntax with the comprehensive freeformish syntax which is fine legit I sometimes do that in my professional code but just for good form I'm gonna show you how to how to do this properly I'm gonna actually uh, let me pull this back out I'm gonna detranslate it okay let's let's call that result and then var result gets this thing and what this thing really is if I want to take it to this non dotish non parenthetical uh, syntax is um, uh, let's just from C in db dot in the source right here's our source db dot customers uh, what are we grouping we're gonna group uh, C by a country okay okay so now I've detranslated I still got one query here and another query here and you might think, well, Jamie, why don't you just remove that line there and then somehow, you know, there they combine. But they don't combine because I told you when you type group or you type select, your query, that ends your query. It does the projection you're over with. All right. Well, Link actually has a nice, convenient uh, keyword into. All right. So watch what's going to happen here. I'm going to say group C by C dot country into G. All right, notice here I had from G in result before when I, let me rewind this back to how I had it. Uh, it's like I'm I'm taking the result of this, each group one by one. I want to query that, and so I just said, well, let's take each group and the result. Well, I can actually do that in the same query by saying into. I can say into G, and then once you say into, let's say, okay, I know that a group or select terminates the query here, but actually I want to roll it forward into yet another query. So that actually allows me to delete these two lines of code here. So watch, I delete it. There you go. We're we're good here. Uh, it's red squiggly here because we got result here. So I'm actually going to replace result with this more intuitive variable name, largest group first. Okay. But basically all all into does is allows us to to query. So basically I'm this query down here is querying the upper query, and it really all just makes one query. Let's run it. Make sure the results are the same as what we had before. Very nice. Americans 13, Germany 11, so on and so forth. So, so that's a little bit of an intro into into. Okay, so in the next video, I'll show you how to how to um, translate this. What the compiler actually does when it sees it into. It's pretty straightforward.